With nine movies to compete with, the Fast and Furious family is nearing the end of its run with the two-part chapter of what will be the franchise's final installment. Every Fast and Furious sequel has significantly raised the bar, street racing was the main focus of the first film, but by Fast Five, Dom and his crew were pulling off whole heists. They drove vehicles through skyscrapers in Fast and Furious 7, and in The Fate of the Furious, they prevented a nuclear holocaust. F9, which was released in the exact same year as the first film but exactly 20 years later, increased the stakes with stunts like rope swinging cars, a landmine field chase, and a rocket car. Let's go for a little ride. The street races of the first movie, which mainly focused on one police officer, played by Paul Walker's Brian O'Connor, pursuing one street racer, played by Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto, are also a far cry from the global conspiracies and near-superhuman anti-heroes that Dom and company have had to deal with. The ninth entry, F9, drops some hints that the franchise hasn't completely lost its original essence, even though these elements appear to be long gone in the film. The race between Dom and Jacob, which is shown in the same strategy he used to beat Brian in the first race in 2001's The Fast and Furious, in F9 and all of the sequels since 2009's Fast and Furious, this scene comes with closest to capturing the mood and scope of the first film. Dom cares about his memories with Brian, and driving is more than just a way for him to get away from bullets and explosions. If the family cookout at the end of F9 is any indication, Dom and his crew are unable to forget where it all began. Even though they can travel to space and prevent threats from all over the world, Fast 10 and Fast and Furious 11 may tell a story that is a more intense version of the original film's plot if they want to end the franchise on a heartwarming note. Fast 10 will be released in theaters on May 19, 2023, marking a significant amount of time since Fast and Furious 9 drove its way into theaters. Fast 10's ability to hit its release date was questioned following Justin Lin's decision to resign as director. But now that Louis Leterrier is supposed to have taken over as director of Fast and Furious, the film may be able to get back on course and release on schedule. It happens after Universal announced that the movie's original April 7th release date would be postponed by six weeks. According to Vin Diesel, the next film will be split into two parts because there's a lot of ground to cover, especially when you take into account all of the locations they need to visit. While the release date for part two of the film has not yet been announced, it's likely that it'll be soon enough. It makes sense that, unless something extremely drastic happens, we'll be able to see the new movie in theaters since the previous one, F9, had one of the most successful theatrical runs of the pandemic era. If you're gonna catch Dom, you guys are gonna work together. Surprise! I just fell in love. Vin Diesel had to be part of the finale given the information about the entire family and the reunion of the original cast, right? Since Sung Kang unexpectedly returned as Han in the previous film, the family has expanded even further. As a result, we anticipate his return, as well as that of Michelle Rodriguez as Letty, Ludacris as Tej, Tyrese Gibson as Roman, Natalie Emanuel as Ramsey, and Jordana Brewster as Mio. This is how the main cast would look like, but we can probably expect a lot of cameo appearances from characters who appeared in the entire series, such as Bow Wow as Twinkie, Lucas Black as Sean Boswell, Jason Tobin as Earl Hu, and Shea Wiggum as Agent Stasiak. It's unclear what will happen to Kurt Russell's Mr. Nobody from the previous film, but given that he assisted Han in staging his death, you shouldn't be shocked if he appears to help Dom and his crew. Additionally, given that Charlize Theron's Cypher escaped in F9, we should expect to see her return as the antagonist once more in the upcoming films. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. We simply can't see the saga's finale without Brian O'Connor appearing as well, whether it be in the form of a cameo or a flashback, he'll definitely play a part, whether it's through CGI magic or old footage from the archives. We can anticipate the return of Deckard Shaw, played by Jason Statham, and his mother Magdalene Queenie Shaw, portrayed by Helen Mirren, who were both seen in the F9 credits as Deckard Shaw returning to the main series. But perhaps most excitingly, Rita Marino will play Dom's grandmother, Alan Richson will also be joining in on the fun in an unspecified role. Yes, that's actually happening. <laughs> to take you down, little brother. That's your mistake. Plot details for the film have been kept under wraps, but there are a lot of things that can be considered about some minor but significant events that occurred prior to the finale we're all expecting to see. One thing about the upcoming two-part finale that we can confidently predict is that Dom and his family will likely be faced with yet another mission to save the world, this time on a much larger scale. 
but there may also be some internal conflicts to resolve and threats coming from within the family. Fast 10 may turn to the crew's younger members, especially the kids of Dom and Brian. The movie could have ended with a flash forward showing how those kids grow up to become the next generation outstanding racer agents just like their parents. The possibilities for Fast 10, however, seem limitless given the history of previous films. The family has so far traveled to space, who can predict where they will end up next? At first glance, the time travel in a Fast and Furious film appears ridiculous, but is it? After introducing space travel, time travel may be the only thing left for the series to explore that can take it into even more bizarre territory. It could even turn the series' final chapters into a sort of Avengers, Infinity War, Avengers Endgame situation, bringing the entire story full circle in true Fast and Furious fashion. Fast 10 has a lot of secrets under the covers, according to Vin Diesel, who has revealed some of the plot's details. Looks like the sons of London have followed us home. Remember Owen Shaw? It'll be interesting to see what they do with Deckard Shaw's character in Fast and Furious 10 or another movie, though since F9 revealed Mr. Nobody assisted in staging Han's death, in the series' climactic scene, Deckard Shaw runs into Han and is shocked to see him alive. Given that he inadvertently assisted Han in keeping Project Ares secure, will Shaw let the past be at peace? Or perhaps Han's unexpected return will cause Shaw to once again turn evil? Besides that, it's possible that Shaw and his family will turn against Dom's team too in the upcoming film. With F9, the Fast and Furious series expanded the Toretto family tree in an unexpected way, the only Toretto family member to appear in the first eight films were Dominic Toretto and his younger sister Mia. The inclusion of Dom's father in F9 changed that, but the real shocker was the appearance of Dom's younger brother, who had never been seen in the previous movies. This brought up significant issues for the Fast and Furious series, which F9 largely ignored. Even after F9, there are still many questions about Jacob's past, but it's expected that John Cena will return to the role of Dom's brother in Fast 10. Did I mention that Dom's father, or Gizel, played by Gal Gadot, might make an unexpected comeback? And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. It's expected to be a massive story that takes the crew all over the world, so expect to see a lot of exotic locations and even more exotic vehicles. The only thing you can probably rule out in this universe is that it won't be a relaxed finale where they just hang out and relax. See you in the next video.